Hi everyone, it's me Jen from I'm Just Like You and today I have a drugstore haul video for you guys on all these new items at the drugstore. As you guys already know, I'm not very patient so I probably have tried some of the items but that's kind of a good thing because now I can tell you guys if it's actually good or you shouldn't try it. But then there are some items that I just got and I haven't really tried out yet. So I hope you guys do enjoy it, it's a lot more affordable. Alright, so let's get started. We have a lot, a lot of items. like. Can you hear all that? All right, first is a new Holy Grail foundation for me. I love it more than even my most expensive foundation. I'm wearing it today and I actually have talked about it on my Snapchat quite a while now, so you guys are probably really, really tired of hearing about it if you do follow me on Snapchat. But it is the L'Oreal, not Maybelline, because I've been calling it Maybelline this whole time. It is the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Glow. I know I'm pretty late on it, but I am those type of people that are very skeptical when I hear a lot of people like it. I'm like, is it really that great? Is it? But I have to confirm it is that great. Now, the reason why I'm holding two is because I went in, I was going, you know, really in a rush, and I saw the 204, and I thought, oh yeah, that's natural beige. But it actually, teeny tinily, it says natural buff. Now, this is very pink. It does not match my skin tone whatsoever. So when I first tried it, I was like, oh my gosh, this is so weird. But it was because I was dumb, and I finally went back and got my color. This is in natural beige. Now, I don't know if you guys experience the same thing if you've tried this, but when I put it on the back of my hand before I apply it onto my face, there are white little particles. I don't know what that is. When I first tried to apply it directly onto my beauty blender and onto my face, I saw white specks and I was like, this is weird. So what I had to do is actually shake it up really, really well, apply it onto the back of my hand, blend it in, blend in all that white specks, and then apply it onto my skin. Now, I don't know if those white specks are just, you know, a malfunction in my particular one, but I do notice that, that probably those particles are what causes your skin to have that glow. I know this is not a review for this product, so I'm gonna stop talking now and move on. Okay, so the next item is a blush. This is the Physician's Formula Butter Blush. Now you guys already know how much I absolutely love the butter bronzer. I love it. It so melts into the skin. It looks amazing. Now, when I saw that they have a blush, I had to try it. It still, let me, it still has the same smell, but mine is actually coming out of the pan. The quality is just so bad. Look, literally, look, I'm, I can pull it out of this big pan. Do you see that? really bad packaging. Look, there's just like a little piece of glue that held it down. Anyways, now when I tried it, I felt like it kind of looked ashy on my skin. It looked like nothing. Um, I think you would probably like it a lot better if you were fair. Because I'm more of a light medium skin, it did not show up on my skin. So I did not like this product. Um, it looks just chalky. like, But it is still buttery. It's still the same type of formula. It's just the coloring is a little off. It's not very blushy. Now since we're on that same blush, um, since we're talking about blush, they always get me at the drugstore with that buy one get one half off because I'm like, I don't want anything else from this brand so I just feel like, ah, I'll just get another color. So I got two blushes from Alme and I have not tried these at all. I just heard really great things. I don't really like anything from Alme. I feel like their products don't really last very long on the skin. The staying power is not really great. But I got two of their blushes. This is their, um, I don't know, it has really cute ombre effect as well as like a, um, star imprint in there. So I thought it was really cute. I got it in a mauve color and a more of chlory, chloral blush. Now the chloral one is called Pink Rose and then the other one is just called Nude Mauve. So yes, it is mauve. I can't wait to try it and see, but I did hear a really good thing. So I'm crossing my fingers for that. Next are e.l.f. Um, liquid eyeshadow. Now, I feel like liquid eyeshadows are a big thing now. I've tried a couple and I really do enjoy them because they just are so easy to apply. So I saw these and I had to get them. These are from e.l.f. It is their Aqua Beauty Molten Liquid Eyeshadow. So I heard really great things about them when I saw it on Tati's um, channel. But unfortunately, when I tried it, I wasn't that impressed. I have it in the color Brush Copper, which looks gold. 
Um, they have a gold one, which is a lot golder, but then this bronze one is definitely gold to me. It's kind of like a, I don't see copper at all. I don't see any type of warmth of an orange undertone to it. It just looks kind of goldish. I can see my skin underneath, but I also tried it on top of eyeshadow to see if it would just be like a wet look, but it just looks really chalky and chunky. Like the particles are not very nice. It's not mixed well into the medium. Um, I don't really like it, but I also got it in a rose gold color called rose gold and it looks like this Now I think the idea is really nice just because it's a liquid eyeshadow. That's in a kind of like a frosty look like it's it's a good idea I feel like but it didn't look really nice on my eyes but what I do notice is that I think it would look beautiful on the cheeks because I mean it looks like it could work but the formula is nice and once they dry down, they don't really move or crease. So for the price, I can't be too picky, right? All right, next are some CoverGirl products. I haven't really bought any CoverGirl products since I was like maybe in high school. I used to love their creamy foundation. Uh, but anyways, they came out with this Outlast All Day Powder and I heard great things about it on YouTube once again. I got it in the color light to medium. The powder is very yellow based, which is great, but I did notice that it was so mattifying. If you have very oily skin, I think this is gonna be your best friend because it's very mattifying. The coverage is nice. It's really, really nice even just by itself. So I like it on like an everyday work day where I feel like I don't have to be too glamorous, but for me, it's a little too mattifying and powdery that it can look a little cakey if I overdo it. Um, so I'm not really into that, but anyways, they also have the Outlast um, concealer. Now, I haven't tried this color yet. This is in the color Fair, but I did try it, as you can see, I already opened it, in the color Medium, and it was okay. The Medium was a little dark for me. I did try it on blemishes, just like discoloration, and I just didn't really think that it was that wowing. So I might just have to try it mixing with the Fair to see how well it would work underneath the eyes, but I haven't tried it. If you guys have, let me know what you think. Next are some Milani products. Gosh, I love Milani and I was so happy to actually get my hand on this. I know this is old. I know a lot of you guys already tried it. It's the Milani Conceal and Perfect 2-in-1 foundation plus concealer. Now, I know this one oxidizes a lot. I'm actually in the number two, meaning number one probably kind of still works. So if you have fair skin, I'm sorry you're out of luck. But if you do have darker skin tone, they have a really nice variety of darker skin tones. The only thing is, this oxidizes and it looks almost orangey on me. It's a very full coverage, bam, your, that you are wearing foundation. I feel like it's okay. Like it's really kind of mask-like on my skin. I kind of like a more buildable coverage versus like you put it on your face and you look like you have a mask on. Now, throughout the day, once I move, I talk, I do a lot of facial expressions like that, it kind of cracks. So, I mean, it's nice, but you know, I'm a little too particular for it to actually work. Another Milani product I haven't tried because I really wanted it to like swatch it on camera. It is the Contour and Highlight by Milani. I was like gasping when I saw this. I got it in the color Natural Medium. I didn't know what color to get it in because it was really hard to see in the packaging like what color you could be, but I got it in Medium because I felt like, you know what, if you're gonna be contouring, you can't have it too light. But I did kind of look into it and I saw that it was a little bit more of a yellow base, not too gray. So one side is like a cream contour stick. Ooh, the color looks very promising. Wow, it blends out nice. It's, I kind of got one that is a little grayish, but it has a little bit of a yellow undertone, so it will work with me. Again, with that yellow undertone. Are you annoyed by now? By how many times I say that? And then the bottom, what is this? Ooh, it's like a liquid, oh my gosh, don't tell me it's like a liquid high. Oh, it's a liquid high, okay, it's not bam, boom, in your face, but it's very subtle, which I think will be beautiful, like down the nose of the, you know, down the bridge of your nose and stuff. 
I feel like if you got a lighter color, then the contour probably wouldn't work, but the highlighter would pop more. So it's kind of iffy, but I'm really excited to try this. Oh my gosh, definitely gonna try it in one of my tutorials so you guys can see how it works. Um, I also got this, it's their um, CVS's brand Beauty 360, and they were buy one get one free. It is the dual ended um, cotton tip applicators. I love these because I like to have them in my purse, also to have them at my vanity. Because whenever I do my eyeliner or my makeup, it's really nice to have a Q-tip that is pointed to help kind of like clean up things. Oh, I missed a CoverGirl product. This I have been using. Um, this is their Advanced Radiance Press Powder in the color Classic Beige. Now, let me show you. It looks like this. It's a powder that's supposed to be like illuminating. It's supposed to give you radiance. It's not supposed to be matte. It's not supposed to be um, too powdery. It's supposed to kind of make it melt into the skin and not look like powder, but it's okay. I feel like even though this color is the most yellow base, it's a little still pink for me and it's okay. It doesn't last all day, definitely. You're gonna need to touch up a lot. I feel like there's so many better powders out there. All right, another Milani product that I love because I had to try it right away. It's their Prime Light. It's a face primer that has strobing and pore minimizing effects. That is something I have never seen anyone done where it helps minimize your pores but at the same time give you that glowy, luminous, um, strobing effect. So I really do love this. I find it to really make my skin look luminous, dewy, and healthy. But at the same time, I do notice some camouflaging of my pores. Oh, actually I still have some more Milani products that I didn't see. Gosh, Milani has been coming out with some amazing items. All right, can you tell I've been using this? Even though I just hauled it, I've used it every single day. This is their Make It Last Setting Spray. It's to prime, correct, or set your makeup, and it's supposed to last 16 hours. Now, I do use this prior to putting on my foundation, and then I do use it after I powder my face, and I use it throughout the day when I feel like my makeup just needs a little pick-me-up, and I love it. Their kind of like their mist on this is actually nice. Look, beautiful, and it looks nice. It smells fresh, not flowery or fruity. It's just really, really nice for a drugstore setting powder. If you guys are looking for one, definitely check it out. I love the size of it as well. Um, another Milani product are these a more matte metallic lips. Look at these. So a new trend now in the makeup world is to have um, lip toppers where you just apply a little bit in the middle of your lips and it's supposed to make your lips look more pouty, more glamorous, and just nicer because you have this beautiful um, shimmer effect. But I feel like a lot of brands just do it wrong. It just looks way too crazy and harsh and you can't really blend it out to make it look nice. But a lot of people said this is great. So I've been trying it and I love it. This is they're a more matte metallic lip creams from Milani. I got it in two different colors. This is going to be a great one to top off um, on any lipsticks or like your lips but better or a new lipstick. This is in the color Chromatic Addict 01. And then I got this one, which I fell in love with as soon as I tried it on. This is the Milani number no. six. Matley in love. Isn't that so cute? It's a beautiful, gorgeous, metallic red that just looks amazing topped on any red lipsticks. So if you are trying to look for something for the holidays, definitely check that one out. All right, anything else from Milani? No. Okay, moving on. So I did try the L'Oreal 24 Hour Foundation. It's their Infallible Total Cover. Since I love the Pro Matte and I do love the Pro um, Glow so much, I needed to try this out. But you guys, I did not like it. It's so, so thick. It feels like a primer with a heavy foundation all in one. And I did not like that it accentuated every single laugh line or expression that I made. I just could not make it work but a lot of people told me that I should use this to mix in with any like really light and dewy foundations to add coverage. So I'm gonna try it out and do it that way to see if it actually makes it into some type of concoction that is great. But at this moment, it's a pass for me. 
All right, next is a strobing liquid from the Maybelline Master Studio um, line. It's a illuminating highlighter. This is in the number 100 light. I also got the medium, but it was so golden and bronzy, it would never work on my skin. I actually gave it to uh, one of my friends to use because she has very chocolatey dark skin. It looks amazing on her. Like it blended beautifully with her skin. It didn't look ashy. It didn't look chalky, which is what she was really afraid of because she was so, you know, she's such, she has such a rich, darker skin tone. But for me, I feel like 100 is a little ashy, but it's a little silvery. So it can work, but it's really beautiful. I love using it on the, just on my cheeks by itself. And then on top of that, I would put a golden highlight to kind of balance the silveriness and it does work. It is gorgeous. I use it even over powder and it works well. So I love it. It's a liquid highlighter kind of thing. So I'm just gonna swatch it here real quick for you guys. You see how blinding that is? Wow, that's crazy. I got a $5 foundation from Wen Wild. This is called Photo Focus, and I'm in the color Golden Beige. I have been trying it, and you guys, I have to say, I am blown away. It is really nice. Now, I'm not gonna say it is the best foundation out of everything, it's not. No, it's not. It's a good foundation for $5. It's good because it looks amazing on the skin. It doesn't have flashback. You can wear it to special events, but I feel like it's going to be more for those who have nicer skin. If you have nice skin, it's gonna look amazing. But I do notice that it doesn't really have that technology that bonds the makeup to the face and kind of minimize pores and imperfections. I feel like it just sits on the skin. I like it. I'm not going to say that I would never wear it again. I'm definitely going to wear it on more easier days where I just want a little bit of foundation that's going to make my skin look good. But I really thought this foundation was going to look like, wow, she has a filter on her face at all times. But you can't really expect too much for a $5 foundation. It is good. The color range is great. I feel like it's not too orange or too pink. A lot of it is a lot more neutral and a little bit more on the yellow side, but it's not too warm, if that makes sense. So I do like it and I do recommend it if you are on a budget. All right, you guys, I am getting to the bottom of this, okay? <laughs> I don't have the packaging for it, but I did wanna try this out. This is by Real Techniques and it is one of their um, beauty blender things. I didn't really like their original one, which is the orange one. I did a video where I kind of compared it to the Beauty Blender, and I just don't find that it is as great just because it was very um, pory. You can see the pores, it was very porous. Like you can see all the little pores and then like it doesn't really blend nicely. But this one, the fabric is nicer, so it doesn't do that pory thing. And I do like the fact that it's flat on one side and a pointy side so you can really use it for your concealer. So I have been using it and I do like it. Okay, these are my last products, you guys. Sorry for it to be so long, but I did a massive haul. All right, so this is their um, L'Oreal collection exclusive where they do it with um, celebrities. So this is the J.Lo Nude and I really like this color. It's not too nude, but it's just so gorgeous. I hate Ugh, the L'Oreal smell. I wish they would come out with like no fragrant lipsticks, but I guess that's their signature. I just cannot stand it, but I do love the color a lot. And of course, buy one, get one half off. So I have been looking for this color all over the place. This is Lia or Laya Red, and it is gorgeous. It's just so nice. Like in the tube, it looks just kind of boring, but on the lips, it's like very popping. So I really, 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 really like that color. And the formula is great. It doesn't budge. You don't really need a lip liner. It just applies onto the lips beautifully. So it's a great drugstore lipstick. Like literally, if you need to be at a special event in five minutes and you don't have anything on your face, you just came home from work, adding this red lipstick is really gonna brighten everything and makes it look like you spent a lot more time on your makeup. All right, so the last item is a nail polish. This is by Essie and I love their um, glitters. I love the fact that it has so many different texture, so many different um, types of glitter. Like there's flat ones, round ones, and 
they're just different sizes, so it looks really nice. It's a very nice gradient. And um, I can show you a close-up of my nails right now that I have their rose gold um, glitter. It just makes your nails look like you added something extra and you got it done, but you did it yourself at home. I actually use this underneath my gel. I use my gel and then I use the glitter and then I put um, gel top coat and it just keeps it on forever. I really, really like their quality in glitter. So definitely check that out. All right, you guys, so basically that is it for this video. I know it was really long. Thank you for actually staying until the end. But if you guys wanna see any in-depth review on any of these products, let me know. I will definitely do it for you guys. And thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.